Hey y'all, um, so I'm here making a video about the Malik situation, literally everyone's talking about it, um, in case anyone is unaware, Malik made a very controversial video towards Brad Rules where he used a lot of um, what can be described as racial language to, to Brad, um, he called him a cracker said he looked like someone from Duck Dynasty. Apparently he said more things. I, I looked at 10 minutes of the video and I was like, what the f Like, so, I want to say this. This isn't a personal attack at Malik. This is more of a video on advice for Malik. Because, um, I agree with Dark Horse. If I know fucking Miracle, I'm agreeing with Dark Horse. But I agree with Dark Horse on this. I agree with Will. I agree with Leon. That... The way Malik has handled this situation, it's not, it's not great. It's, it's, it's just not, okay? And here's the thing, like, I've known Malik more than anyone in the YWC. I've known Malik now for about, I'd say 10 years. I would say 10 years ago, Ant Arena, so it like, I think it was like on Ant Arena. I'd say about nine, eight, eight years maybe, nine. I know it's gonna be the 10th anniversary of General Jerry next year. Yeah, so I was on Ant Arena. Because I made this channel, yeah, around about, about, around about Malik, I know about, about eight, eight or nine years, okay? And I, um, I seen a bit of the video, and, um, listen, I understand, like, here's the thing. I'm not saying Malik can't have an opinion on this subject. I'm not saying that at all. But, especially in regards to subject matters like this, you gotta get your video 100%. And what I mean by that is... You don't fucking, like, I have a line, but fucking believe it or not, where I don't racially attack people, okay? I don't do that shit, alright? Because it just makes you look, it makes, it makes your points look weak, okay? And Malik, and this is not an attack at you, Malik, this is just giving you advice. I seen the video in regards, now anyone who doesn't know this is in regards to the Jordan Miles situation. Um, I'm gonna tell you the facts first about this Jordan Miles situation, and then I'm gonna, because there's a lot of fucking missed information in regards to this. Um, number one, Jordan Miles did in fact allow that t-shirt to be published. Um, Booker T, and I understand that Malik has done a video on Booker T. It would, no, do, no disrespect to you, Malik, but the video wasn't great. You just called him derogatory terms. You didn't actually state, like, facts. The facts is clear. The Jordan Miles guy clearly allowed that t-shirt to be published. Okay? He's seen it with his own eyes. He claims it was with a white background. But the thing is, is that they've all got different backgrounds. Now, I have a theory in regards to this Jordan Miles situation. And I'll get into that in a minute. Jordan Miles allowed the t-shirt to be published. Booker T clearly states, and many other wrestlers that I've seen in the past, have, uh, their t-shirts are allowed to be put through. Okay? They have to actually check these t-shirts. First, uh, Dolph Ziggler, for example, seen this t-shirt, he liked it, and went, okay, this is the different designs that I would like. That looks cool. That looks cool. I'd go with that. CM Punk is a perfect example. CM Punk wanted to change his t-shirt after the, the, the pipe bombs incident. Um, he wanted to change it, obviously, from the Nexus to something better. He's seen the white design, which, in my opinion, is probably one of the best design t-shirts in WWE, um, in recent memory. I actually quite like the Dolph Ziggler t-shirt, to be honest, um, hence why I paid for it. Um, but, that's, that's not here nor there. Um, so, so that is, that, that's a fact, okay? It's a fact that he did allow this t-shirt to happen. Whether or not he's seen it without a back, black background, I don't know. Fact is, looking at the t-shirt, if you look at a second glance, it does look fucking weird. I think we can all agree with that. It does look fucking weird, okay? It does look like, ah, like, what the fuck were people doing trying to, like, like, did no one turn around and say, I think it kind of looks like that. And yes, it looks fucking weird. However, however, from my perspective on it, I believe, and this is me theory, this is not a fact. Okay, I want to state that. This is not a fact. I don't want to put misinformation out there. This is not a fact. But this is what I theorize what happened. 
I believe the Jordan Miles guy, um, with all due respect to him, um, is fucking shit. He's terrible. Okay, I've seen some of his in-ring action. He's not great. He's not really that good. Um, I think he's seen his t-shirt and he went, Ooh, time to get that juicy smoothie A money. Time to get that juicy smoothie A fucking thing. And I think that's what he did. Okay? Now again, this is me theorizing. I could be wrong. I could be right. But that's what I theorize. I believe he wanted to pull a juicy smoothie A. Um, <laughs> and I think that's what happened. Now I want to say this. The t-shirt does look fucking weird. And in fact, I don't know what WWE were smoking publishing that. Publicizing that. I do think... In regards to this, in any other situation, Jordan Miles could have actually walked out pretty good out of this. The problem is, though, Jordan Miles decided to attack everyone and everyone. And even he talks about racism. And some of the most despicable things that I've ever heard is from him saying stuff about Jay Lethal. So you can't talk about racism when you're using racism against another person. The fact is, you can't fight racism... Whenever you use more fucking racism. It's a fact. That, that isn't a fact. Okay. I grew up in Belfast. I grew up where Catholics were against Protestants. I love Protestants. I love Catholics. We all get along. That's my perspective. I hate division. Okay. I grew up in a situation where like not as bad as maybe what maybe my parents went through. But I have seen people using the terms derogatory terms to Protestants and using derogatory terms to Catholics. And I'm not a big fan of that, okay? I'm not a big fan of that. I, I Personally, I don't use it myself. Um, I just think it's just... it's just uh, You can't really do that shit. You, know what I mean? you can't really do that shit. So, with that being said, Malik did a video. And the title, I'm not going to... I mean, the title says Cracker on it. You know, like, Malik, come on, man. Like, I understand that you might, like... Look at this t-shirt might cause a massive reaction. But just using racial fucking... Just going at this guy racially is not the way to go about it. If you want to respond to Brad, that's fine. If you disagree with his opinion, that's fine. I'm not saying that, Malik. But what I'm saying is is that your, your opinion looks cheaper whenever you racially attack someone. And, and I want Malik to realize this for future reference because I'm, I'm shocked. Like, he's been good friends with me for many years. And I was surprised at some of the stuff that he said. You know, Will went to bouncing people that were racially attacking Malik at one point in Hangouts. And I was completely disgusted. I was like, what the fuck are they doing? They were making, like, monkey noises. And they were calling him the N-word. And they were doing all this bullshit. I stuck up for Malik in regards to that as well as Will. Okay? But where you, you lose your validity, Malik, is where you fucking racially attack a guy that's just talking about the situation in regards to WWE. That's that's where you lose your opinion. I, you, I'm i not saying that you can agree with Brad. I'm not saying that. If you disagree with me on the, on the Jordan Miles thing, that's completely fine. You're entitled to your opinion. Same as the way Dark Horse is entitled to his opinion. Same as the way Leon might be entitled to his opinion. Same as the way Will's entitled to his opinion. We all have different opinions in terms of wrestling. Some people see it from different perspectives. But where you cross the line is where you attack someone racially. And that's the issue that I have, Malik, with this. If you would have went up there, okay, and if you would have responded to Brad Rules, and you would have made your point, and you would have said, I believe that Jordan Miles was in the right, I wouldn't have had a problem. I wouldn't have been making this video. I don't even think Dark Horse would have been making this video. Okay, I think Dark Horse probably would have made the video on the Jordan Miles thing, which he's completely entitled to do, by the way. But where you cross the line, Malik, is where you fucking, you, you, you start saying this stuff to someone. And Brad's a fucking lovely guy. He's a really amazing guy. I've actually spoke to him a few messages. I've messaged him a few times. He's a really nice guy. I, I, I don't think he deserved that type of abuse, to be brutally honest. I, 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 and here's the thing, I've been, I was on a predominantly African-American channel. I was li literally, I'm the whitest guy, and I disagree with Will saying he's the whitest guy. Look at me, okay? I'm glowing. I'm like a ghost, motherfucker. I'm a ghost. <laughs> I 
<laughs> this is some banter, but well, I actually, not gonna lie, I seen Will's response to this, and I pissed myself laugh when he went, I'm so white, I have to put dark in the room, so that my face, that was funny, okay, I have to give props to Will for that, it was pretty fucking hilarious, but back to this Malik thing, I'm just trying to make light of this, but in reality, I think deep down Malik knows that he was wrong in this situation. I'm not saying that he can't have an opinion on this. I'm not saying that. But where you cross the line is where you attack someone racially. That's... Yeah, ah. And like... Like... The thing is that Jordan Miles guy did exactly the same thing what you did Malik. He fucking... Like some of the stuff he said about Jay Lethal was fucking disgusting. Absolutely horrendous. To say the least. You know, like, I, do, I was looking at this and I was like, what the fuck? Like, this is not the way, this is what Jordan Miles should have done, okay? If it is the case where he, he, he give clearance to, to the white t-shirt, right? And it's not even a good design either. It's a bit fucking shit, to be honest. I'm more, I'm more pissed off at the fact that he gave away a fucking shit design of a t-shirt, to be honest with you. But that's here nor there. The problem is, is that, is that with the white t-shirt... If, if, if it is the case where he's allowed this and he's allowed this t-shirt, what he should have said is, yes, he should have stated it and said, look, this looks fucking weird. And that could have been it. WWE takes it down. Everyone, like, everyone says, oh, hey, Jordan, you handled the situation really well. And he's like, yeah, I'm, I'm, thank you. Like, I've actually handled the situation pretty well. But he didn't fucking do that. He, he fucking went on a two-day rant. He had to apologize for it. He actually apologized for it. Um, And it just... Motherfucker, it's just unreal, like, but anyway, Tim Malik, this is not me attacking, and I don't want my fans attacking Malik, I want to say that perfectly clear, I do not want my fans attacking Malik, I don't want that shit, I have respect for Malik, but Malik, what I seen in that video was not the same badass Malik that I seen a lot of years ago, this was a different Malik, and I don't know what's happened to you. Maybe it's real life. Maybe it's whatever the fuck. Maybe it's the fact that you've been attacked on hangouts and stuff several times. And it's just been building up and building up and building up. I understand that. But the problem is, Malik, is that in order for us to, to fight racism, we can't fight racism by using racism. We can't do that. Especially now in the way the, 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 the climate is right now. Okay? We can't fucking do that, man. Okay? And I, and I do fucking, I, 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 I'm still going to be your friend for life, man, okay? But this video was just to educate you that maybe you just need to approach things differently, okay? I'm going to cut the video off before my fucking laptop fucking shites itself all over the fucking place. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. Malik, I hope you don't think this is a personal attack. This is more of advice of Malik. Um, and that's all I gotta say. Thank you guys for watching. This is General Jerry on the General Jerry channel. Signing out.